crispy outside and nice soothing inside. For those people who love eggs, this is an absolute delight. What would you do if you had a guest coming to visit you at home and all you had was few eggs and some flour? Well, you can throw it at them and chase them away, but I don't think it's the right way to treat your guests. My name is Srikant Singh and welcome to our channel Happy Belly Fish. And today we are going to make a recipe where you will be testing your motoric skills. We are going to take these eggs. I mean, these are uncooked eggs, not boiled and we will stuff them in a bread. How? That's what I'm going to show you today. You need some wheat flour, some raw eggs, some fresh dill, I love them. I can just smell them the whole day. But this is an optional herb. If you don't have it, you don't have to put it. Some oil and salt. The first thing that you need to do to make this dish is to make a dough out of this flour. Now, what kind of flour? This is a whole wheat flour. You can absolutely use this but if you don't have this and you have all-purpose flour at home, you can even use that as well. But I like this because it has more fiber in it. But if you are somebody who is allergic to gluten, you can't take bread, then all you have to do is break this egg on a pan and you're done. But if you eat bread, then why not make it more interesting? Making the dough is pretty simple. We'll take some whole wheat flour and add some amount of salt and some oil to it. This way our crust will have some taste, otherwise it will just be like kind of doughy. And then you need to mix all these ingredients nicely and start adding water slowly. You never add all the water when you're trying to make a dough for your flatbread or stuffed bread. There is one very important thing you need to remember about making dough for stuffed bread. It will be stiffer than the bread that you will make which is not stuffed which is like naan or roti, they will be much softer. And the parathas or the stuffed bread that you make, the dough will be much stiffer, which is why the exact measurements don't work. It depends on the flour that you're using. It depends on how warm it is, how cold it is. At the end, just add some oil to your hand and knead the dough once more. Your perfect dough is when you have nothing sticking to the bowl, nothing sticking to your hand. This recipe is all about taking the hard shell out and taking whatever is inside this egg and stuffing it into a soft shell, which is the bread. Now at this point, the chickens will be like, put this man on our most wanted list. The stuffing that will go inside are the eggs, but it just can't be eggs, right? So we'll add some salt to it and you can stop right here, but why not make it a little interesting? So we'll add some dill, fresh dill, and mix it all together very nicely. If you don't have fresh dill, you can add parsley, you can add fresh coriander, you can add any other herb. I'm making a very simple recipe. I've not added any spice here, but if you want, you can add black pepper, you can add nigella seeds, you can add cumin. There are many spices. You can even add some seasoning spice like za'atar. And if you think like you don't know where to start when it comes to spices, if something about spices really troubles you, scares you, then make sure you download the free spice guide from the description of this video below. Now that the dough is ready, all you have to do is flatten it. You will use a flat surface. I'm using something like this and a rolling pin. But if you don't have this with you, then you can roll it on any flat surface except your laptop maybe. Make sure that the surface that you're going to roll this dough on is dry. If it's not dry, then it will stick to it. So you take this dough and start rubbing it between your hands this way. Press it firmly. This way you will start to eliminate all the cracks and you know, there's big gaps that are there in the flour. So press it more. This is another way of actually kneading it. And you have it like this. And when it's nice and smooth, put it on the dry surface, put some dry flour on it and start rolling it with a rolling pin. And before you start flattening this piece of dough, make sure you take a pan, put it on the stove and warm it on medium heat. You will notice that it has a natural tendency to become a circle. I think it's in your head and then it kind of goes through the rolling pin to the dough and it comes out round. Now, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You know, unless you're a mathematics teacher, 
you really don't have to be bothered because we are going to fold it anyway. So if you're not sure and if you're always thinking that I will end up making an Australia out of this, you will make Australia. And if you think I'm going to make a moon out of it, you will make moon. So think here first. When the dough is rolled nice and flat, try to make it as thin as possible. Now is the time when you add the stuffing. So take the beaten egg and add two tablespoons. That's how much you will add. Don't add a lot of it. Don't think that you will eat all your egg in just one bread. And then begin to fold it. Just fold it like how you would fold your clothes, like from all four sides. And that's when your bread is stuffed. But here's the fun part, lifting it and transporting it all the way to the pan. That's when you need to use all your fingers. Somehow it kind of comes together. Yeah, I got it now. So your pinky finger is folded and these fingers, they act like thumb and they come together this way and hold it. And all you have to do is lift it like a drone and put it on the pan. And that's the fun part. The first one never comes out right. So that's the one that you need to reserve for your spouse. And the others, make sure that if you're going to go on a long day trip, that your trip is going to last for an entire day, add more amount of oil when you are frying it. So first bake it without any oil, flip it over and then add some amount of oil to it. I prefer ghee because it gives this nice crispiness on the top. And I also add ghee when I'm going on a long day trip. So the good thing about adding ghee when you're frying it here is that it doesn't make it look very oily and doesn't even give you this heavy feeling. So if you can eat ghee and if you have it, then add that. Ghee is clarified butter. And the one that I use is a really good quality one. Don't forget to like this video to support this channel, leave us a comment and please subscribe to get delicious weekly recipes and food videos. Crispy outside and nice soothing inside. For those people who love eggs, this is an absolute delight. I think I finished half of them while I was making this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon in the next video.